Welcome to the Diligent Minds Podcast. I'm your host, Dorian Jones. I make personal development easy so that you can achieve your goals, do all the things you put your mind to, give you motivation, and so much more. It's time for you to step up, do the work, and become the best version of yourself. Let's go ahead and dive right into the show. What's going on, Diligent Minds community? Welcome back to another episode of the Diligent Minds Podcast. I'd like to welcome and thank you all for joining me, whether you old or new. I truly appreciate it. It means so much to me. I want to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, whether you're listening to this right now or you're watching on YouTube. It helps me grow the show as an independent content creator and podcaster. Don't forget to leave a rating and review if you listen to this on Apple Podcasts and leave a thumbs up if you're watching this on YouTube. Check out all the links down below if you want to find out more about myself or if you want to learn more about my coaching program to help you achieve your goals and close out this year strong. I'm telling you, it's more than enough time for you to have the best year of your life, and I will help you get there. Check out the link down below. Schedule your free call today so that we can get you locked in on those goals, get you locked in and have that year that you've always envisioned yourself having. I know the process. I've been there myself and I've helped many other people do it. Whether you want to start creating content, you just want to be a better version of yourself and and be a person that you've always envisioned. I've been there. I got the blueprint and I want to help you get there, too. Today's episode, we're talking about being underpaid, overqualified or overworked. Um, you know, that thing where we had that, that feeling of, damn, I'm working so hard, but I'm not getting paid enough or I feel like I'm doing a job that's less than what I'm qualified for. We've all been there at some point in our life or we know someone who's been through that, where they go through this degree or they much smarter than the people that they're working for or they much smarter than the task that's been handed to them or you being paid much less than the work that you're doing. We in a weird space right now in America where it feels like the low class is just like the low class. And then there's no middle class right now because everything is so high. So whoever was in the middle class getting pushed down to the lower class and then the upper class, upper uh, tax brackets seem to continue to thrive. We're not going to dive into the whole dynamics of that stuff. We're not like a financial podcast, but I just want to highlight the, the obvious things that are going on. Majority of the population here, we feel like we fighting to get our head above water. And they feel like when we get there, we just eye level with it. We right here with it. Next thing you know, we got something that happened in our life. And then we just right back below that water. We just fighting to breathe. We fighting to get up to get a breath of fresh air. Because that inflation hit us, you got those gas prices going up, groceries going up, you go out there, spend $100, feel like you only come home with two things and you back at the store. It's just a never ending cycle. And it's just so frustrating. It's so frustrating when you're just trying to live, you're trying to live comfortably. You want to live like a, a life of feel like you have no worries, but it's like things just keep on coming up, especially financially. Even with these big companies, it seems like they're losing money and they're spending less money on a lot of resources and things that they were spending on before. A lot of people losing their jobs. They more strict with the rules, creating a stressful environment. And you just don't even want to be there. You're like, why am I coming here? This place is so stressful. It's not like it used to be. And it's happening everywhere, which is a sad thing. And it creates a bad economy for us all. Most people feel like, why am I working so hard? What am I working so hard for? And I still have nothing to show for it. I still have no results based on the effort that I've been putting in. And a lot of people feel drained when they come in from work. You have a long day, a long week, and then you want to recover, whether it be mentally, physically. Next thing you know, boom, it's time to hit it again. You're like, dang, I'm getting ready for it again. I'm getting ready for this new week. You can looking forward to that Friday, that Saturday, that weekend. That weekend comes, but next thing you know, you look up and it's Sunday. You're like, damn, I have to go back tomorrow. And it all gets overwhelming and it gets stressful. We're going to dive into that today. If you're feeling overwhelmed, you're feeling like you've been working so hard, but it's not being compensated properly. Or are you feel like you're underhired right now? We're going to talk about that in today's episode. Let's go ahead and get into it. If you're out there grinding, you're out there working, you know, working your nine to five, and you may have other dreams, you may have other aspirations. And it may be some things that feel like they get left by the wayside because you don't have enough energy or time to dedicate to these things. And that's normal. That seems like something that happens to most people in today's society, where your your other things, your passions, your dreams, your your things that you want to really dedicate yourself to, it feels like you don't have enough time to even get to those things. And it feels like 
Am I just always working? Am I just always dedicating myself to work? And I just have no time for me. I have no time to recollect myself. I want to tell you to find something that you really enjoy doing. And you need to learn to carve out that time no matter what. You need to carve out this time for yourself because it's going to be good for your overall well-being, be good for your mental health. And it's hard for some. Trust me, I understand how hard it is. It may take time to figure out what it is that you even enjoy. Some people may not know what it is that they want to do. Some people may not know what that passion or that purpose project is for them. Even if you do know what your passion or your purpose is, you got that thing on track. Another thing is find out how can I get paid for doing this so that I can leave this stressful environment of being overworked, underpaid, underemployed. How can I leave that space to go do something that I really enjoy? That's a whole nother conversation that you have to figure out and how to deal with. You got to figure out the pieces to that puzzle. If you have a hard time figuring out what it is that you truly want to do, I want you to think about your past or think about your current tense. What hobbies or, or things that you've been into or things that you used to be into that you wanted to start picking up again? Because life may have happened. You may have let these things go. You may have forgotten about it. You may have lost time. What are some of these hobbies and these aspirations and these dreams that just kind of got let go because of obligations that you had in your life? Because you had to pay your bills. You had to take care of your family. What are some of these things that you could pick back up so that you could start engaging with these things and eventually possibly turn this into something that's either a stress relief. It helps you get away from your problems or it helps you turn it into something that's more lucrative. You could possibly turn it into a business, turn it into a project or something that you do every single day, every single week. Start thinking outside the box. Start thinking of the things that you could start doing that you let go. Maybe you just start off doing it part time, doing it as a side hustle and then slowly turn it into something that you could do full time. And if you in this space where you feeling underpaid or like you overqualify for something, are you content? Are you being paid enough to where you can live a decent lifestyle, but you know you deserve more, you want more? This happens to a lot of people. Because you may take on a job and say, okay, this isn't the target income that I wanted. This isn't the target salary that I wanted, but I'm cool with this. I can make this work for myself. But then you forget that you wanted more and then you continue to do all this work. You continue to to go in and out every single day with the same salary, these same responsibilities. But then you forgot about what did we say we wanted in the past? What did we say that we wanted to reach those goals, those heights? Those heights may have been forgotten just because you're comfortable. They threw a dollar at you. You're like, all right, I can take that. I can live with that. Don't even worry about it. We cool. But no, never get content with where you are right now. Always strive for more. Always push yourself to go beyond. Always push that bar higher. When you push that bar higher, you challenge yourself. You challenge yourself to think different. You ask yourself different questions. You become a better person overall. If you are sitting in a space right now, I don't know who you are. I don't know where you sit right now in your life, in your career. Push the bar much higher because it's always a next level to everything that you have right now. It's never a peak. Once we hit that peak, it's just going to look like a ceiling, but it's going to be a glass ceiling and you can always break through it. Some require more effort and push than others, but I'm telling you, you can crack it. You can break it. So don't let that contentment, don't let that, that comfortability stop you and keep you where you are right now. Don't get caught up in where you are at the moment. In life, we have to do what we need to do in order to do what we want to do. Sometimes there's going to be some sacrifices that need to be made. You can't always do everything that you want. Sometimes you have to do just the things to get you by, the things you need to do right now just to get past this stage, just to survive today. Before you can get over to the fruits that you see from the seeds that you planted in the past, you have to work up to that. You're going to have to wait for that thing to grow. You're going to have to wait for it to sprout up. But in the meantime, you have to do what you have to do. You, have, you still have to eat before that fruit even uh, starts to bloom. So what things are you doing right now? Don't get caught up in, in where you are. Not understand that you already planted the seeds and it's going to take time to grow. Be patient with it. Just allow it to do its thing. But in the meantime, focus on what you have to do to survive right now. Where you are right now isn't the end role. you always in control of your where you are right now is not the end of your road. You always in control of your future. And what you do right now, what you do today is going to determine how your future looks. Because we may not take action just because our life not how we want it to be right now. We get a little stressed out, get a little depressed thinking about where we should be, how far, how further along we should be. But we forgetting that we wasting that energy and that time 
on things that don't matter. It's not going to serve us. It's not going to yield us anything that we want in life, anything that we want out of ourself. We put that energy in the wrong place. We need to think about, no, what we need to do right now, how can I make this time count to help me get closer to that goal, to help me not repeat what I'm having happen right now? Because I don't want to have the same story six months down the line. No, I want to say that I achieved this. I don't want to sit here and say the exact same thing that I said three months ago. So what do you have to do at this moment? How can you make this time count? Not being where we want to be, it can paralyze us because we think about it. We start to beat ourselves up and it can stop us from doing things that's going to help us change our situations. Focus on right now and how you can make this time count. What things can you do right now? What things can you do every single day? How can you add on to yourself as an individual? How can you add on to you right now to help you develop into that person that you want to become in the future? The person that you know you need to be to achieve this goal. What things are you doing? What things can you do right now to mimic that? So don't get caught up in where you are right now. Focus on where you're going. It's not about your starting position. It's about your finishing goal line. Do the things right now along this road. That's going to have the most impact to help push you forward and push you closer to that goal line. Don't sit there and worry about being at the start for too long. No, you're going to continue to remain at that starting position because you're thinking about that. You're not looking at the future. You're not looking at that goal line. You're not seeing that that vision of you getting there. How do you expect yourself to walk on that path if you continue to focus that? Hey, I'm still at the starting line. You're going to remain at that starting line because you keep on dwelling on it. Don't dwell on it. Don't worry about it. The future is here for you to create. The past is gone. You can't change that. The only thing you can change is your outcome for the future. I don't care where you at in your career, where you at in your life, where you are financially. You control where you're going to be in the future. So do that work. Don't get caught up at, I'm getting paid less right now. I'm not getting anything. Well, what are you going to do to change that? What are you going to do today, right now? How are you going to spend your time better to help you develop and change into a different individual? If you're chasing growth and striving for more, the person that you are tomorrow should not be the person that you are today. Do not get caught up in in the moment. Don't hold on to it for too long. Things you can't control, let it go. It's easier said than done, but it takes practice. And I'm telling you, you can do it. You got this. Now I'm about to talk to my people in the corporate world or if you want to jump into a new industry. Increase your value. Increase your value to to the people around you and to the career that you're in or the space that you want to go into. Sometimes this looks like you working for free. Don't always look for a paycheck out of all your efforts. If you do that, then you're going to miss out on a lot of opportunities because sometimes it could be the opportunities. It could be the relationships that you develop when you do these things for free. It could just be you putting yourself and your your skills on display when you do these things for free. Everybody want to get a check. Everybody want to get paid. Yes. But sometimes... Before you get paid, you have to do the things that's not going to get you paid. That's just going to give you the experience, give you the exposure. Let your face be known in a certain space. Let yourself be known in a certain industry. Put yourself on display. Look at a tennis shoe. When you see a shoe, first thing you're going to do is see it on display. It's not being sold to you yet. They like, hey, look, this is how it looks on this outfit. They put it on a mannequin and everything. Look, this is how it looks. Then they go and buy it. Then you go and generate the income. That's you. You have to put yourself out there. Let people know what you can do, what you're capable of. What value do you bring? Because we're always looking for that money. Yeah, everybody want it, but not everybody deserve it because you're not bringing enough value yet. So increase your value, increase your stock. And then those opportunities going to come to you after you start doing it for free. You continue to show up to these locations. What are your strengths that you can lend that will help increase your value? How can you help this person that you've been that you've been scouting? You've been sending DMs to you've been sending emails like, OK, I get 100 emails a day. What can you do? How can you be different from this other person that said they can do this for me? Show me something. Don't continue to tell me you have to show. Sometimes you have to put yourself out there and you have to believe in yourself. You have to trust and have that confidence. Like, look, this is what I can do. They can't do this for you. They talk about it. I'm showing you right now. And when you go out in the world, choose your crowds wisely. Mingle amongst the people that you want to mingle with in the future. Mingle amongst those crowds that are that are where you want to be. Don't get intimidated by it. Go out there, introduce yourself to people. Tell them who you are, what you do, what your aspirations are, what you plan on doing, what things you've done already. You never know what relationships are built and where people will end up in the future. If you continue to show up to these events, you continue to to be present. 
People will get used to seeing you like, hey, I remember you from there. Like, oh, yeah, I remember you. Look, come over here. Look, come chop it up with me. You never know who they may know or who they may introduce you to just because your face is familiar. A lot of opportunities, honestly, may arise just from you showing up. Increase your value just by showing up in those spaces that you wish to be in in the future where you wish to be a main player. Go out there and get in there. Sometimes you got to start at the bottom. Everybody don't start at the top. You got to go in there. You got to climb yourself up. Increase your value. If you want to add on to yourself, you want to feel like like you're getting paid for what you're worth. You got to build up to that, even though you may be worth it right now, but the world don't know it yet. Go out there and show them. You may be working hard and and not feeling like you're being compensated or appreciated at the moment. I want to tell you sometimes just patience. Sometimes we want to rush things and we want things to happen right away because that's the way it seems that things unfold for a lot of people. And that's not the case. It's years behind these moments of success. It's years behind these people achieving their goals that we don't see. We only see like the last two or three years. We didn't see the last five, six, seven, eight, ten 10 years of their life. We didn't see all the work that they've been putting in. So just be patient with yourself. Everybody's time is different. Don't try to force anything. Don't try to push anything on. Don't try to rush anything to happen and just because you wanted to, because you feel like you've been doing enough. Maybe you've been doing enough, but it's not your time yet. And that's perfectly fine. That's okay. Continue to build your catalog. Continue to build your your cachet of things that you've done. Then your work will be on display. The world will see like, damn, they've been working for years. They've been doing this for a long time. I see the growth. I go back and I see the catalog of your work that you've done or your or your track record. I see it now just because you at your level what you want to be at. But you didn't give up. You was patient. You trust the process. And you believed in yourself and you knew that it was only amount of and you knew that it was only in due time that your time was going to come. And if your time takes a little longer, don't allow that to discourage you. Keep showing up and doing the best that you can while also preserving your energy. Do not burn yourself out. If you're in a healthy environment, your hard work won't go unnoticed and it'll be rewarded eventually. If you're in a working space right now, you're in a career that you wanted, you're at this company that you always want to be at, you're in this industry you always want to be in, your work will be rewarded and recognized eventually. Don't worry about it. Even if it's not, don't worry about it. If you're comfortable you happy. I'm not saying go out there and strive to be something much greater if you are content with where you are right now. I'm not saying content in a way of, hey, I'm just settling, but I'm saying like you happy with where you are right now. This is where you want to be. But you know, there's other levels, but this is where you want to go and you good with that. That's perfectly fine. Don't put that pressure on yourself. But I'm saying to those people that aspire for more where you feel like I haven't hit my peak yet. Just be patient because you will get there. I promise you, as long as you don't give up, you don't quit. That's the only way you won't reach your goal. That's the only way you won't climb up that ladder and get to where you want to be. And some of you may be in a tough spot where you exactly where you wanted to be. You got your degree. You got this job. You wanted this all this time, but it's not necessarily what you thought it'll be financially or energetically. It just don't make sense for you. You could be in a tough spot. If it just doesn't feel right, I'm going to tell you, you can choose to stick in there and let things unfold and see how they turn out, or you can choose to pivot. You have to make that decision for yourself. You probably know in your bones the decision you need to make. Go ahead and don't hesitate and pull that trigger. And that's okay. If you have to pivot and do something different, that's okay. It's perfectly fine to start over. It's not the end of the world. Find enjoyment in the process of life, whatever you choose to do. Once you get to that next level, you'll understand the lessons that you had to learn before you ranked up to where you want to be. This goes with anything in life. Be patient with the process and take it one step at a time. And things will come to you without you even asking. Things will come to you without you even noticing it. You're like, dang, I didn't even notice that I made it here. I didn't even know that I've made it this far. You look back, you're like, hold on. Like, dang, all that stuff has occurred in my life. All those things have happened in my life and I made it past them all just to get to this point. I'm telling you, be patient with yourself with whatever step you're on in your journey. I'm telling you from experience because I've been there. Staying consistent, staying persistent. I just stick to it and I just keep on going no matter what. I don't think about the past. I don't think about what's happening in the future. I just think about this moment right now. Be patient with yourself. Trust the process and watch everything unfold for you. The last thing I want to touch on is you betting on yourself. Understand this. You'll never be paid what you're worth. You only receive your perceived value to a company or service that you're offering. You only get paid for 
for what you worth to a company or what you worth to an organization. Just because you feel like you worth a billion dollars may not mean that your service or your your um, thing that you bring to the table is worth a billion dollars to that company. That's your self-worth. Always remember that. Don't confuse yourself with your self-value with your face value. Those two different things. Don't put your future in the hands of anyone else. When you bet on yourself, the sky is the limit. Working for someone else is always going to leave you feeling like you deserve more. If you feel like you better with working for other people, that's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm not downing that. I'm not shooting it down at all. But know that you're always going to have a cap when you're working for someone else. If you're in that corporate space, you're in that world where, where someone else is signing your paychecks consistently, it's only going to be so much that they can pay you. But if you're working for yourself, if you're pushing and striving, you want to get out there and do your own thing. Remember that the sky is the limit. You can go as high as you want because you can create multiple streams of income. You can do different things. You can add on multiple things. You can expand your team and increase your income, increase your value that you bring into the market, whatever space you in. So, again, if you're feeling underpaid, overqualified, overworked, all that stuff. Trust me, it's part of the journey. It happens to us all. Don't let it discourage you. Set your goals for yourself. Remember to set the bar high for you. Don't settle. Don't tell anyone what you can and can't do. And if something don't work for you, don't be afraid to leave that situation. I want you to strive for more as an individual. I want you to continue to strive and don't get comfortable. Don't get content with what you're being handed because you deserve much more in life. You deserve whatever it is you put your mind to and whatever you feel you deserve. You're correct. So that wraps it up for today's episode. Go ahead and check out all the links down below. Don't forget to reach out to me on IG. Uh, check out the YouTube video if you haven't checked that out. YouTube episode, if you listen to this on audio, is available on Thursdays. You hear that outro rolling in. You know what that means. Everybody has greatness within. Even you.